Um, so last week, carrying on with the seascapes, coastal scenes theme, uh, last week I wanted to do something on beach, beach scenes, and uh, wasn't quite sure what to do, so, and then I came across this, this sketch that I'd, I'd done a little while ago, called Stork Bay, and I quite like that. Mm -hmm. um, and there was a few photos from the same day. Hey, hi Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I did was I scanned that into my computer, kind of blew it up and printed it out over a couple of pages, and then put a load of pastel on the back, and then just used that to my drawing, just trace that down, which is a nice, easy way of getting a drawing from your sketch pad onto a board. Um, and which I've occasionally done that. Um, it's, the difficult bit is almost like then trying to paint with the computer because you tend to lose things. Quite often when I'm painting, I draw at the same time as the painting. Um, so I was slightly painting around things that I might otherwise have just painted blank as opposed to things. But um, yeah, still, still quite good work. Good work, work. Um, so what I'll do is just maybe a little bit more. So this was actually acrylic. I thought to use acrylic for change because some people are using acrylics. Uh, so I'll pop some of these colours on this morning. I'm thinking a little bit more on, on this photo. You can see a little bit of the colours in the sea. I'll get some. It goes from slightly greeny to almost a little bit of sandy colour in places. Some of that in there. And what else? This slightly lighter blue reflection there as well. And just a little bit of blue in with that. And some white. I find with acrylics you need quite a strong white, so I tend to get like the artist quality white. Um, and although it's a little bit more expensive, I find it, it's really worth worth paying a bit more for mm -hmm. a better so what kind of wine? Um, the one I've got is, I think it's called Vallejo or something like that. But I think it was about 10 quid or something like that for the oh. tube like that. And what's it called? Um, it's, an, it's a titanium white. Oh, titanium. Vallejo, yeah, Vallejo. Yeah, so it's a nice, strong, opaque white. <laughs> I find that helps to just get better, just better coverage really. Try and get a sense of, yeah, it, it wouldn't, I, or, although I put the figure in there this morning because somebody was asking me about that area, it's really better to paint that area afterwards. That can be a little bit of the light reflecting on the sea. And then just a little bit of highlights where the waves are breaking foam, either white or just a tiny bit of colour in there just to make it an off-white. Again, I'll just carry on using this black brush and just have some catching the, the waves. Be a little bit more here. And then what, what, what I've done here is I've cut some, to get this, this sandy effect, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't particularly want to paint, try and paint every little pebble and every little tiny bit. So I've put this, this sort of kind of slightly beigey colour down to start with. And then used, that dries quite quickly being an acrylic. And then just mix a, mix a kind of browny, Browny colour to go over the top. That, that, that should work. And then using a reasonably big brush and using it quite flat. So this is a bristle brush. So it's a bit rougher than some of the nylon brushes anyway. So I can kind of drag the paint across like that. And where this is a slightly textured surface, it's an old board that's had a couple of layers of pine or paintings underneath. It will just pick up the top surface and that that works quite well in trying to suggest the you know the texture of the pebbles. So it's a way of breaking up the breaking up the brushwork. These bits here I did here, I think are a little bit heavy, so I'll just try and lighten them a little bit. Maybe go a little bit lighter. 
So again, it's just kind of using, keeping the brush quite flat and just, just softening them down sort of just a little bit. I want some of that to show through. Slightly less dominant. So that's for darker colours, and you could do exactly the same with the light colour. Um, I'll use a little bit of white or off white, and hopefully that suggests some of the little tiny pebbles. Like that. And if it's too too strong, I'll just wipe back with a rag or my fingers. And then what I tend to do then is maybe just one or two dots and dashes every now and then. You'll find sometimes that the sun will just catch one or two pebbles and just make them shine. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that, either in, in a dark or a light, that can work. Just to vary, vary it a little bit without trying to put everything in. And even in any kind of painting, textures are quite a challenge, whether it's like a brick wall with hundreds or thousands of bricks. I'm trying to suggest the brick wall with just one or two bricks and breaking up the the other tones and colours a little bit, I find more effective. The more in keeping with the way I want to paint it, a slightly impressionistic way of painting. Yeah. Enough on that. Um, so next next week is to start my new month, and the theme that I've got for next month is, um, it's really a portrait theme, but looking to start with, with features, like eyes, noses, mouth. So it'll be a lot of drawing, or you could draw with paint if you want to do it in all the right painted studies. And then alongside that, I wanted to be for an interesting lino printing. Mm -hmm. um, and I've ordered some lino, so if anybody's interested in that, we can make a start mm -hmm. from that mm -hmm. and have that go along alongside the other projects for the next month or two, really. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with the portrait thing, we don't look. We could uh, just do the picture of someone else. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got a few photos, um, just just sort of magazine clippings, really. Mind. But if you, yeah, so if you've got any pictures of people, um, preferably a few pictures, different yeah. ones, and then you can maybe do little bits from each mm -hmm. one to start with, and then maybe work up to doing a portrait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good. Right. Mm -hmm.